Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install Quick Leaf Decay in Minecraft 1.13.2. This is a very simple mod, as you can see. It's a, it's a small mod that makes leaves decay much faster in Minecraft. And, and that's it. It's a very, very simple mod. You can actually change how they decay with uh, the convict file. And I'll show you where to access that as well in this video. But nevertheless, we first have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an awesome 20 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just a few bucks a month. Whether you're looking to do a modded server, whether you're looking to do a paper, a bucket, a spigot server and run plugins, whether you're looking to start a mod pack server like Sky Factory 3, Project Ozone, Sevtech, or even something like Stoneblock 2, everything, they have it all. They have it all as far as mod packs go. So you can go check Apex out again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an awesome Minecraft server for, like I said, just a few bucks a month. Anyway, let's go ahead and get Quick Leaf Decay installed. First thing you to do is go to the second link down below it'll take you here where you want to click on this earlier versions button you see that earlier versions button click on that and then you want to make sure that this is in fact for 1.13.2 as we can see 1.13.2 there come over and click the orange download button here and it will start to download quick leaf decay now if you're on mozilla firefox you'll need to save this file if you're on google chrome you'll need to keep this file we're on firefox so it opens up here in the center of the screen where we can see that we are in fact downloading quick leaf decay and it is a dot jar file we're good to go ahead and save it. If you're on Google Chrome, it'll pop up in the bottom left down here where you'll be able to see that it starts with quick and ends in .jar. And if that's the case, you are good to go. You can go ahead and keep the file. Mozilla Firefox, save the file. Google Chrome, bottom left, keep the file. Now, we're not done downloading yet. We need to go to the third link in the description down below. And it will take us here to our tutorial on how to download Forge in 1.13.2. I'm actually going to be showing you how to do this. But if you need a text tutorial, if I go a bit too fast, you have issues, this is where you can come and get some help. Now, the once we're here, we just want to click on this green download Forge button here where it takes us off to Forge's official website. We want to make sure that MC1.13.2 is the version that we're on. We can see right here MC1.13.2 as well as in the top left up here 1.13.2 is bolded. Now we can go ahead and click on the installer button right here and it will go ahead and take us off to add focus where you don't want to click anything. Stop. Don't click anything on this page. Not a thing. What we want to do is wait six seconds and in the top right up here we'll see a red skip button. Click on that red skip button. Then this will pop up on Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome again in the bottom left. It will ask you if you want to keep the file. And as long as it starts with forge and ends with dot jar, as ours does, you're safe to save the file on Mozilla Firefox and keep the file on Google Chrome. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser here. And on our desktop, we have two things, Quick Leaf Decay and Forge. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries. Click on the little Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen. It's in the top left of my screen. But you see that little window Windows Windows icon there, click on that and then type in downloads right like so then you have this downloads folder here click on that and then drag forge and quick leaf decay from your downloads folder just to your desktop for ease of use once these are on your desktop you want to start off by installing forge go ahead and right click on it click on open with and then you should have java tm platform se binary if you don't no worries I'm going to show you how to get it. Just go to the description down below and find this link to download the Java JDK or Java Development Kit or Java SDK. It's under many names. So basically, this is the Java Development Kit here. And once you get here, this walks you through how to do everything and get it installed. And once you have that installed, you should be able to open up Forge. But if you can't, no worries. You need to run the jar fix, which can be found in the description down below as well. And this tutorial walks you through how to do it. It's pretty simple. Download it and run it and it's done. But nevertheless, this is what you need to do if you still can't open up Forge after you've installed the SDK. Nevertheless, again, we want to right click, click on open with, select Java TM Platform SC binary and click OK. Then the Forge installer will open where we want to click on install client and then click OK. Now Forge will automatically install. Now here's the deal. If you don't have Minecraft 1.13.2 ran previously in vanilla with nothing installed, this won't work. So you need to go run Minecraft 1.13.2 vanilla if this doesn't work, but most likely it has. And you'll see successfully install client profile Forge. So go ahead and click OK there. And now we need to get Quick Leaf Decay installed. To do this, we again want to click on the Windows icon. It's in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon there to open up the start menu. This time though we want to type in run. Are you in? Once you've typed in run here you'll see the run desktop app. Click on that and then in the run desktop app here you want to type in percent app data percent percent app data percent exactly like that and click OK. 
this will open up our roaming folder here where you want to go into the dot minecraft folder and then we should have a mods folder but nick what if we don't have a mods folder what do we do what we'll just create one right click create a new folder and then title that folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that and as we can see there is our newly created mods folder go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder and drag leaf decay into it it's that easy to install it now we need to open up the minecraft launcher and don't click play immediately wait brace yourselves we need to make sure we select the forge profile to do this click on the little green arrow next to the play button here and then select forge then click play however if you don't have the forge profile no worries click on the three lines up here in the top right and then click on launch options once you're in launch options you want to click add new and then you can name this whatever i'm going to name it play.breakdown craft.com why am i naming it that because that is the best minecraft server in the multiverse 1.13.2 grief protected survival we've got jobs crate keys ranks all sorts of awesome stuff and overall just an incredible community monthly build events all sorts of stuff that you will absolutely love so come play with us play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip i can't wait to see you online after you've got that named we need to click on right next to version here and then we need to come to where it says 1.13.2-4 do you see that release 1.13.2-Forge. If you have multiple ones, click the one with the higher number at the end. So that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to change my resolution. You don't need to do this, but if so, uh, whenever we get in game, you'll, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. But nevertheless, then click save. And then we can come over here to news. And then we want to click again that little green arrow next to the play button. Except this time we want to select the play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Confirm that it does say 1.13.2-Forge under the play where it says play there. If it does, go ahead and click play. Now Minecraft 1.13.2 will open up with Forge installed and more importantly, the Quick Leaf Decay mod. This is a very simple mod. It's kind of hard for me to show it in game, but I did show you, say that I would show you how to find the config file. So that mods folder that we were in, right, that we got to with the run application earlier, right, this dot Minecraft folder, in here you have this config. You see that? Click on that config and in here, if we refresh, we should be able to see that there is a Leaf Decay mod. It's actually not showing up, which is no big deal. We just need to make sure we go back in here, make sure the mod installed successfully. It did. The Quick Leaf Decay mod did install successfully. So let's go ahead and run Minecraft. Who knows when this config is going to generate this mysterious config here, but it is going to be once it does in our config folder here. We might have to close out of Minecraft and reopen it, but your config file will be able to be found here to configure how fast or slow the Quick Leaf Decay mod works. I actually just deleted the config before this video, so it's kind of funny that it's not, uh, it's not installing fast. Let's go over here and see what we have. Let's just delete these real quick and see if we can get some leaves decaying real quick. There we go. I don't think there's any denying that that is in fact working, that the quick leaf decay is, uh, is happening there. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty simple to install. However, again, you can find the config files right here. It's, st it's still not there. They're, they're not appearing, but I promise they will right here in this config part of the .minecraft folder. Nonetheless, if you guys have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to help you out. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. If you want to know about more mods as soon as they come out or very quickly after they come out, we do videos on them nearly as soon as they come out. So you can subscribe to the channel for more awesome content and knowing when mods are released. But anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.